What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Sorison Gaming back with another video for all of you. Today we are checking out the brand new MMORPG Revelation Mobile. A port from the PC MMORPG called Revelation Online, Revelation Mobile was released on January 8th, 2021 by NetEase. The first thing that I noticed in Revelation Mobile was how ridiculously in-depth the character creator was. There's plenty of options to choose from, as well as sliders to get your character looking as unique as you want it to be. There didn't seem to be any option to edit the body, but the features for editing the face are fantastic. Sadly, the tank class is gender locked, and the healer class has two options, but both are female. The other classes aren't gender locked, however, Perhaps it will change in the future. I'd love to play a female tank class if they make it available like in the PC version. I did a separate video showcasing the full depths of the character creator which you can see by clicking the link showing up on the screen now. The CGI intro is beautiful to watch, very action packed. Definitely a lot of care was spent on the intro cinematic. I always love watching decent game cinematics. When entering the game, I was blown away by how beautiful it looked. The animations were so smooth and I was surprised that I could interact with the cat on the bed as well as the piano in the other room. A little tip, if you're planning to play, check the rooms and hallways for chests. They have goodies inside of them. You are given the choice of two outfits to start your journey, one white and one black. Naturally, I picked the black one with the spikes and chains. As far as I can tell, the weapon skin may not change, though it might at higher levels. As of this moment, I'm currently level 27 and haven't had a weapon upgrade in a while. When I left the rooms and entered the top of the ship, I was blown away yet again. The game really was just super gorgeous. I also would like to point out that the game seemed very well optimized and ran max settings at 60fps pretty well, for the most part. Revelation Mobile has dynamic weather, and when it snowed, I did try to build a snowman, but sadly, my internet has been acting up today so it was lagging and I couldn't seem to build one. There is a camera interface for taking screenshots, but as far as I can tell, it's inferior to the PC game's version, which had plenty more options to take amazing screenshots. Maybe they'll add in, add in more features at a later date. Combat is fast and fierce. Dodging is important and bosses have telegraphs to show you where their big moves are going to land. To be honest, this game has been the most complicated foreign game for me to play. There is many features and dialogue to go through that sometimes I have no idea how to progress a scene. I especially noticed this at level 17 when I was trying to progress through what I can only guess is some form of world party instance. I believe they had them in the PC version too and I just got kind of lost for a while. I figured it out in the end and those kind of world party instances you can get a large amount of experience doing them. Revelation Mobile does have auto-pathing and auto-combat. Auto-combat unlocks at level 15, but before you groan about it being an auto-combat dungeon, just know that in the dungeons you unlock, auto-combat isn't allowed. You must manually play the dungeons and with good reason, they're pretty challenging and a lot of fun. There are mounts in the game and you can double jump glide. And of course you can get wings too. The, th the free mount is a fluffy alpaca, well kind of. You can pick between three different colors and you unlock wings at, later, at a later time, which you can choose between two types. There is also an underwater section of the game, though I've only experienced the introduction to it. It seems really beautiful though. Revelation Mobile also has a tower system where you can involve your pets. Yes, there are pets in the game which can be won through a gacha system, surprise surprise. In the tower system, you team up with your pets and defeat boss after boss, climbing the stages until you get defeated, getting lots of goodies along the way. Now, if you're like me and your endgame is more focused on costumes, you'll be pleased to know there are plenty here. Lots of beautiful designs, 
I wonder if you can unlock some of some for free like in the PC version. I doubt it since it's a mobile game, but you never know. Dragon Raja gave out tons of free costumes, so maybe Revelation Mobile will too. Here's hoping. There's also plenty of options for new mounts, hats, wings, and auras. Lots of ways to spend your money and regret it later. I know there's a hot spring in the game where you can AFK and gather experience like in the PC version. I did see images of it in the loading screens. Sadly, I have yet to unlock it so I can't experience the mobile version yet. I'd like to say the world is completely open world like the PC counterpart, but sadly it is not. I tried to fly to the giant statue but got interrupted by an invisible wall. I was pretty disappointed by that, but I guess they have to have some limitations since it's a mobile game. Overall, Revelation Mobile is a lot more polished than its PC counterpart. Its graphics engine has definitely been updated and there seems to be a lot more story than I remember. The gameplay is interesting and the game gives away a fair amount of freebies for the free to play members. I unfortunately found myself getting lost a lot of a lot because I'm not sure what to do next due to it being in another language. However, I'm enjoying it enough to want to keep playing. Will I continue until they hopefully bring out a global variant? Doubtful, but you never know. For now though, I won't be deleting it off my phone anytime soon. So that's my first impression of Revelation Mobile. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, then perhaps you'd like to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Perhaps hit that bell icon too. I'd appreciate it greatly and it will help me out a lot. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Catch you in the next video. This is Sorison Gaming, signing off.